In this video we're looking at unit conversions using the normal method which I've called the traditional method. Now if you've got a book of uh, conversions in front of you you'll find that the conversion from meters to kilometers could be written one of two ways. It could be written as 1000 meters is equal to one kilometer or it could be written that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. Because in the question we're going from metres to kilometres, this is the conversion that we need. To go from metres to kilometres, a thousand to one means that you would have divided by a thousand. So 45,500 metres divided by a thousand will give us how many kilometres. Dividing by a thousand moves we, means we move the decimal point three places. One, two, three. So it becomes 45.5 kilometres. Next question, convert 1.695 tonnes to kilos kilograms. Once again you could see this conversion written as a thousand kilograms is equal to one tonne or one tonne is equal to a thousand kilograms. We want this version because in the question we're going from tonnes to kilos. To go from tonnes to kilos we've gone from one to one thousand that means times in by a thousand. So 1.695 tons times by a thousand is equal to now when you times by a thousand you move the decimal point three places to make the number bigger 1695 kilograms. So in other words one point 695 tonnes is equal to 1,695 kilograms. Third question, we need to convert um, 0.0034 kilolitres to litres. Uh, the conversion here you may not find in a book, but it's very simple to derive uh, like we did in the previous video. One kilolitre Kilo means 1,000, so that means it's 1,000 litres. To go from kilolitres to litres, kilolitres to litres, 1 to 1,000, you times by 1,000. So 0 0.0034 kilolitres times by 1,000 is equal to now timesing by a thousand means we move the decimal point three places one two three three point four litres so in other words zero point zero zero three four kilolitres is equal to three point four litres this question we're converting from square metres to hectares and we've already looked at that conversion. You'll find it written in a book as one hectare is equal to 10,000 square metres or 10,000 ordinary or 10,000 square metres is equal to one hectare. As we're going from square metres to hectares, this is the version that we want to look at. To go from 10,000 to 1, you would simply divide by 10,000. So 5,250 square metres divided by 10,000 is equal to Dividing by 10,000 means moving the decimal point four places. 
to make the number smaller because you're dividing. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is 0 0.525 hectares. So in other words, 5,250 square metres is equal to 0 0.525 hectares. Question 5, we're converting this time from a volume unit, which is cubic centimetres to litres, and litres is a capacity unit. It's, it's when you fill a um, container up with water and you want to measure for the amount of water that's in the container. And it's, it's basically the volume of the water. Now, the conversions that we need to know here is that one, cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. So that would mean that 728 cubic centimeters is the same as 728 milliliters. So that's got us converted from a volume unit to a capacity unit but now we need to go from millilitres to litres. We know that a thousand millilitres is equal to one litre. Milli means a thousandth, so it takes a thousand of them to make one. So there's our conversion. To go from millilitres to litres, a thousand to one means you've got to divide by a thousand. Dividing by a thousand means moving the decimal point three places. So this is 0 0.728 litres. One, two, three. Because you're dividing by a thousand, the number gets smaller. So in other words, 728 cubic centimetres is the same as 0 0.728 litres.